Have you ever taken a coffee nap? These days, everybody seems to be taking them because they can be a super simple way to get a midday boost, especially if you're feeling burned out. See, all you have to do is drink a cup of coffee, close your eyes for 20 minutes, and voila, the perfect coffee nap. But is taking a coffee nap really better than a quick cat nap or just drinking a cup of joe? Well, it all comes down to adenosine, the molecule responsible for making you sleepy. Now, napping naturally clears our system of this sleepy molecule. But when you add in a cup of coffee, something neat happens. As our adenosine levels start going down, the caffeine has the chance to fully kick in. So once the nap is over, the body feels super well rested. There's just one problem. Coffee is what I consider a rapid release form of energy, meaning it floods the body with caffeine, but wears off within a couple of hours. So all the body gets is a quick jolt of energy, followed by the need for more. That's why if you want to maximize energy throughout the day while still enjoying that cup of joe if you want, instead of combining coffee with a nap, pair it with this instead. See, blueberries, raspberries, and berries of all kinds contain an incredible energizing micronutrient called polyphenols. And in my opinion, they're one of the best ways to enjoy sustained, natural, all-day energy. Because unlike caffeine, they're what I call a time-release form of energy meaning they slowly feed your cells and good bacteria the nutrients they need to help power up the body, to help you feel more alert, focused, and on top of your game all day long. 